Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. So today we are talking Todrick Hall and the backlash of his comments that he made in a video that I had posted yesterday where he was trying to make DJ Twitch's Stephen Boss's suicide about himself trying to make it about himself and trying to more importantly blame Ellen the generous as to what ultimately led to his untimely death you guys I told you this was going to happen I told you there was going to be backlash right uh, so this is coming in from TMZ and so it says friends of the late Steven twitch boss are calling out his pal yeah quotation marks pal because it because no pal does this right no pal no friend would do an interview like this right uh, Todd recall after he suggested the pressure around Ellen DeGeneres' workplace scandal might have been a factor in Twitch's suicide. For those unaware, Todrick made the implication this week while promoting a new reality show that he is doing, telling Page Six he believed the public calling on the DJ to stop supporting Ellen took too big of a toll. Uh, referring to Twitch opting to take his life, Todrick added, I don't know what was going on in his life that may have led to him making that decision, but I do understand. So a source comes out, basically, who's close to Twitch that tells TMZ it is extremely negligent and self-serving of Todrick to assume that he knows what led to Twitch's death. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause. The source also found it unfortunate that he would speculate, especially while promoting his own project. We're told Twitch loved his time on Ellen, had a ton of respect while working on the series, pointing out that he was even named co-executive producer in the final season. As we reported, Twitch left a suicide note behind when he passed, which we were told referenced his past challenges without going into specifics. You'll recall Ellen was accused of creating a toxic work environment while the show was running. As several former employers alleged racism and intimidation, Twitch, however, stood by the talk show host. Ellen also expressed her intense heartbreak after his death, telling people to love each other as she continued to mourn in late December. If you or somebody you know that is struggling in crisis and help is available, please Call or text 988 or 988lifeline.org via the website. So here's the thing, you guys. Um, and the source, whoever it was that was close to Twitch, they called TMZ and said, listen, bleep Todrick Hall for his foolishness. Here's the thing, number one. This is what invalidates Todrick's BS, first of all, right? Number one, if it, let's say his theory was true, right? Obviously, you know, he stayed on the project. Twitch stayed on the Ellen DeGeneres show after all of the scandal and everything else. And like the source said, was promoted to co-executive producer of the show. He was hosting shows. He was doing all kinds of things um, at that point in the final season. If he was that upset and felt that much pressure, wouldn't he have quit the show? Like, like, this is what I mean when logic and common sense just goes out of the window. And Todrick was just talking out of his behind because he wanted to tie this untimely death to basically imply that since he couldn't handle the criticism that he rightfully deserved from his behavior on Celebrity Big Brother Season 3, that basically, oh, you don't know what could happen. I could be doing the same thing. I could end up like DJ Twitch 2. No, 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 no. Very self-serving, very arrogant, very attention-seeking, very fame-whoring. That's what that is. And that's why your new reality show was number 69 on the ratings, you guys. Because nobody tuned in. Nobody tuned in and nobody is going to tune in. And what pisses me off, and this is why I felt a certain way about all of these, you know, former Big Brother reality stars that keep staying at Todrick's house, this guy is toxic. This guy is completely toxic. He cares about nobody but himself. He care, doesn't care what he says or does as long as he's in the news. Told, you know, the guy from NSYNC, Chris Kirkpatrick, that his son would be disappointed in him. Like, just hates black people altogether says some disgusting things about both black men and women you know doesn't pay his staff you know covers up inappropriate behavior doesn't pay his bills doesn't pay rent in his mansion that he was renting for several years like he is just toxic all of the way around right and now all of a sudden you wait how long after dj twitch's death to throw his name out there like that in an interview while you're promoting a reality show and trying to imply or infer that you know the reason his untimely death happened 
and you try to twist it back around to yourself and make it about hate that you've received and that something could potentially happen to you as well. No, 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 you're not getting away with it. And I am glad quickly people who were actually close to DJ Twitch, people who are actually friends of DJ Twitch spoke out immediately and called out your BS and called out your foolishness and called out your arrogant and narcissistic behavior because that was out of bounds. That was out of bounds and you owe DJ Twitch boss and his family and his real friends an actual apology. You'd owe them an apology, but I know that that would be too much to ask of you. That would be too much to ask of you because all you care about is the fact that your name is in the news. All you care about is the fact that you had an interview with page six. All you care about is that your name is in TMZ. That's what you care about, Todrick. You don't actually care about people, right? You only care about yourself. You do not care what you say or how harmful or how disgusting something is that you say about other people. As long as you could, you know, put it up in a bow and make yourself somehow appear to be the bigger person. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're going to continue to get called out for your narcissistic behavior. This was out of bounds. This was low even for you. And, and I was disgusted. And I was disgusted. And I'm glad that the people who were actually close to Twitch spoke out and said, no, thank you. And called you negligent and called you self-serving. So there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post the content on my channel. And with that being said... I'll talk to you guys again very soon.